Hello, everybody. This is Hobo, your favorite starving gamer. Thanks for clicking on that thumbnail and joining me as I continue my one-year quest to play the nearly 1,300 retro video games on Antstream Arcade. Each day I play four games, give them a simple score just to indicate my first impressions and how likely I am to play again. Up first, we have the Shoot 'em Up Darwin 4078, uh, released in 86 by Dad East for the arcade. Morph from form to form and shoot down the enemy in this exhilarating sequel to Super Real Darwin. So that's the theme. You're, sh you're killing organic creatures and you pick up evolution capsules and your ship evolves. But otherwise, it's just a basic shoot 'em up. And when you get hit, you you devolve into a tiny ship, and then you can only take one more hit. Or if you take one more hit when you're the tiny ship, you die. So it looks like when you, if you devolve into your tiny ship and then evolve back into your regular ship, you still die if you take one more hit. And you have bombs for ground attacks. Pretty hard. Controls are a little sluggish. Well, that's enough to show that off. You know, pretty basic shoot 'em up. Graphics are, I'd say, a little behind the times for 86 compared to other shoot 'em ups. Um, and it's it's not great, so I put it on the B tier. There's much better shoot 'em ups on the platform. Up next, we have three versions of Deflector, a puzzle game released in 1988. This one's for the ZX Spectrum. Can you make light work? of this fiendishly addictive puzzle game. So movement and activate your moving a cursor basically. And so you are trying to get the laser from the starting point, which is here down to here. And you have these yellow blocks in the way to clear the yellow blocks. You have to destroy all the purple, uh, orbs with the laser. Okay, so you go up to the uh, nodes you want to move, hold down the activate key, and then hit left and right. And there you go. And if your laser shoots back onto itself, it'll start to overload. And if you overload totally, you'll blow up and lose the level. I wasn't paying attention. I was overloading that whole time.
days you can't rotate. Oh, or if you're pointing at those yellow blocks, it'll overload. And that's pretty much as far as I can get. I can't, I can't figure out how to get the rest of the orbs. Uh, mm -hmm. I got one more. Oh, so you can shoot through that. If you hit it on the side, I guess it'll pulse. Anyway, that's the gist of the game. Uh, you know, I'm not a big puzzle game guy, but it seems pretty decent. That's actually a pretty good Spectrum game. So I'll say that's at least a B tier game. And then we have the Commodore 64 version. There's different graphics. But same layout, I think. Is it going to hit that other one? Yeah. Oh, the purple blocks you can reflect off of it, looks like. No, that's not right. The purple blocks are the same as the orange blocks in the... That's weird. In the Spectrum version, the orange blocks, which are equivalent to the purple blocks here, actually overload you, but here they reflect. Okay. Well, anyway, pretty much the same game. So yeah, B tier. Decent. Okay, finally we have the Amiga version. And uh, the Amiga and the Commodore 64 were released a year after the Spectrum in 89. This one's got awesome music. But same level layout, I think. No sound effects though, just music, so weird. Overloading. Music's pretty awesome. I missed the sound effects though. Crap.
can't figure it out. Oh, yeah. Is that all of them? Yeah, it is. Sweet. I did it. All right, well, not bad. Um, again, at least a B tier game. I think if you're into puzzles, maybe you would put that on the A tier. But that is our four games for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the uh, playlist at the end for earlier episodes. And have a good day.